What's up, Redeemers? What's yeah. up, sexy ass patrons? Sexy ass. We back. We back. I'm Lo. I'm Nick. I'm Keith. I'm Jarek. And I'm Curtis. And this Ooh, right here is one and only Pak Jiming. Promise. No long talk. Let's go, Keith. Happy birthday. <coughs> Merry Christmas. You filthy animal. <laughs> That's Jim and Sharon. That's literally my take. <laughs> I feel like this is just like a, a little chill interlude. I know we know we talked about this, about them, the freedom they have to make stuff and everything like that. I wonder if some songs, the company kind of be like, don't give them too much. Like, don't give away too much or something like that. Because is this on the album? I feel like this is probably on Map of the Soul or something. Uh, it's definitely on one of the albums. Not Map I of the forget. Soul, but uh, one, one of the Love Yourself, maybe. Yeah, I, only album I listen to is uh, Wings because I don't want to jump ahead. But I kind of mm. feel like sometimes they tell them, like, don't give away too much or for whatever reason. But I feel like because I feel like he could have took tell it. Like, some artists fucking over here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he could have took it somewhere else on this. But it's, you know, it's just kind of just chill. It was nothing like, you this know. It definitely feels like this could have been one of those acoustic joints. This reminds me of either, but I I hate to say a lesser version of it, but you know Miguel's song "Pussy Is Mine." Just kind of like that. It's just I'm right. I'm in the studio. My man got the guitar. Let me just do kick a little, some shit real quick. Yeah, kick something. That's some a little light word. Yep. Sound light. Yeah, you know nothing. This ain't nothing. <laughs> yeah, just, that's just, funny as shit. He's like, like, yo, freestyle real quick. Yo, he's like, yo, hit hit, hit, hit that funky too. So like, you heard me because you're mine. Yeah, out of all the gym and stuff, <clears throat> out of all the gym and stuff, I think this is probably my least favorite so far. Um, it was cool. It's a nice vibe, you know. I'll probably clean to this or something, you know. Um, <laughs> for part of the house, but uh, the windowsill, <laughs> like the kitchen, just giving me a heavy clean the kitchen vibe. Clean the shit out that fridge, huh? Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I felt like he was, yeah, he was just chilling. Like, I, I kind of want to say he was holding back, but this isn't a song where he should be doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's. that's um, yeah, I'm like more that. into when he be in his bag and like. Because that's what he is. Like I hate subdued, not hate, but I, I prefer 
him going all out rather than passionate Jim and over subdued Jim. Yeah. yeah. Like he's some, he's holding something back. Like he's he just he just you know, he just Don't flexing his muscles. I think that's what happens though when you get spoiled from an yeah. artist, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, the I teacher. agree with, I agree with you guys for the most part. I would say personally this is something that was like the least en- enjoyed for me throughout the catalog, not to say that it was bad or anything like that, but um, I think it was mainly on my part as expectations. I know he's got like a great vocal range. So like with some, the subject matter of like love and a promise and everything like that, I thought there was going to come in with like a, a bridge, hit some high notes, have some b- background vocals, maybe an extra verse or something because it felt like really short. Mm. But um, like that was just more of an expectation thing, I'll say. What I will say, though, is about the actual verses, the first half of the song starts out with the like, I want to be your night or I want to be your light and the second the tra- the transition in the second half of the song is I want you to be your light so it's it's mm. like a it's like a I want you so bad but then at the end it's almost that acceptance of I feel like just promise me like you'll be you even if I can't have you so I do think there was some somberness which was why there was a lack of a bridge or anything mm. like that and more of an acoustic kind of just like getting things off your chest sort of thing so overall I do enjoy it but it was a uh, it was more of an expectation thing for me rather than the subject matter itself. Yeah, I think I'm so jaded when it comes to like really heavy artists and some of their the way they release music. So not to bring it up like me and Lo, we always have conversations about this here or away, and we talk about like Drake and we talk about Drake. Brown and other people, and we talk about how much music they put out, and sometimes about how. Sometimes you rather wish you wish an artist might have chilled for six or seven months and put out a certain kind of music versus shit that you got to put out. Some of the music does feel like it's um, how can I word this? It's almost like I'm gonna talk my shit. My vocals is clean. Enjoy our next album that come out in a little. Kind of just like a here, here, mm-hmm. just, like, here, just, yeah, yeah, just, 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 just whereas like, a like sometimes if you run it, if if you hold on to a song and you go over, Jared, you can kind of relate to it. I'm pretty sure we both make. Well, I know I made you made beats too, right? Yeah, we both made beats. So I'm pretty sure you had one. Joint, you was like, "Yo, I want to do something with this," or it's just not clicking right now. And then you hold on to it, then like a month or something like that down the line, you're like, "Yo, I got something to go crazy with this," and then mm-hmm. rework it or whatever like that. So I think just as an artist, it is uh, cool to take those things. Another thing with me though, <laughs> I feel like "Promise" is two major songs with that title. So like, I, I'm gonna lie, I was expecting a lot. I'm just I just be expecting a lot with Jimmy. Yeah, anyway. They might not have knew but knew better from the, the title. Track. No, I'm like mm-hmm. I said, I'm I'm pretty sure I don't think this was intended to be no crazy hit or any, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure this was just like, yo, I'm in the studio, here's a little interlude, something like that. But just like I said, just the fact that it's called Promise, mm-hmm. I'm automatically thinking, damn, Jagged Edge, Sierra. Sierra. <laughs> that's some, that's some weight to kind of you know yeah. live up to. So. And that comment too, uh, it's not like it's to take away from the artist because I still think the quality is still up there. It's just some of the music feels like um, just preparing you for more to come almost. Um, that's just my take on it. Um, uh, to me, this kind of feels like a demo track. Um, it doesn't feel complete. Mm. Um, even when you listen to the guitar, it's not mixed properly to where it takes away the breakage when it when it hits that high twang it just seems like it's somebody got hold of the demo track let's push it out as the interlude um because even when they go into the oo scheme like i would have loved to hear somebody with a deeper voice come under it and sing exactly what he's singing v. yeah v would have been cool um video, yeah. <clears throat> no 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 i, it's I not, get it's it. not not a comparison thing it's but more just he said um, somebody with a deeper voice so that's to definitely I'm like kind of get that high low blend on that part that would have been nasty but it just seemed like they didn't even double up his vocals um it just kind of let them rock as they were and it was kind of like uh eh, i would have rather and that's what leads to the this is a demo or right that's that's the demo of. or unfinished interlude feel of it yo um, mm-hmm. i hate to not even to cut you off bro you just gave me a thought and i've been meant to say this a lot of their songs is not like a bunch of it's well they definitely don't stack their vocals but a lot of the times it's just like one person singing lead and they don't i feel like it's no layers to the vocals it's just 
Only time I ever feel like it's layered is more like when the rap shit is coming on. Yeah. And, so, and you'll hear like Cookie or somebody kind of like just layering. Ad libs. Uh, or the no. live versions it. too. Because mm-hmm. like when they do the Coldplay joint, they mm-hmm. everybody's doubled. Yeah, but like Dynamite, yeah, Butter, um, Permission to Dance a little bit. But like specifically Butter, it, it doesn't sound like it's layered at all where it's like. Because I'm pretty sure these guys got a tight harmony out of the uh, three main singers. You'll hear everything in the background, but you won't hear anything in the forefront. That's I feel like it. you hear one, 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 one. Like, mm-hmm. they don't never put, like, some kind of, like, choral, I know what you mean. like a, like a harmony. Butter. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I, yeah, it sounds like it's just one guy each time or whatever. Like, like I said, uh, sometimes on Butter, you can kind of hear it. But for the most part, I think that's what I want from them. But I know that's a little bit more R&B-ish. But it's also how do they how do they do their songs? Whereas SM, they kind of get their songs from the Western, um, and so you might have those songwriters who arrange it so yeah everybody's layered up and you're getting that. But they might not do it that way, yeah, unfortunately. That's true too. Well, fortunately and unfortunately, because it does. Well, like, yeah, because they they have their own original style, and that's right. what the reason we, that's why we love them anyway, because they have their own original style. Like I said, I think that would be like the next step. With BTS, because we always ask, like, well, how can they do the top this or, you know, whatever. Because like as soon as you said that, I'm thinking, like, like now that we're done by 112, how everything you is You know who like, I'm thinking about. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just wonder what their, I guess, what their next, what their next track, what's going to be their approach. Mm. Because obviously with the last three tracks, we know what the approach is. Mm-hmm. And they successfully fucking hit the ball out the park yeah. with the approach. I told you I was I was in Wawa and I heard fucking butter playing over the jaw and I'm like... As it should. As it should. Like, you know what I mean? You just hear it everywhere. So I just wonder now, um, are we going to get something or make more it right. SK-centric like how Jarek wanted? Shit. Are they going to stay kind of in that pocket of uh, like, you know, what we want? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, what I, what I will say too about that is I think it's more of... Um, I feel like just in general, if you're an artist, it's just like music is my therapy. Music is just how I kind of make sense of the world or how I, you know, you know, express myself or anything like that. So not every track has to necessarily hit Mm -hmm. those kind of things. It just really could have been a personal thing that someone heard and just said, hey, man, like we can we could put this out there, you know? Yeah. I mean, we definitely at a point where we're spoiled sometimes with particular artists because like I said, they'll do something almost like this. And like you was just saying, Kurt, where it's just like, just appreciate some things just for the simplicity versus sometimes where it's like everything don't got to be like hit out the park almost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, unless you're a particular group. And also, I just think it's just like <laughs> when you're getting into. I want this shit. Be a before. When you're listening to something BTS related or anything like that, they have so many layers that it's just like you don't know if you're getting like this kind of thing, like like more of a. More of a butter dynamite kind of thing, or more mm-hmm. of like like some of the rap line stuff Dynamo they got, butter. some of the vocal line stuff they got. Like, there's just so many layers that almost when you just go in blind and you hear about an artist, you you know, like you have to, your mind has to kind of adjust to what you're hearing. And that's why I said it was an expectation thing rather than like you know. No, I get it, and I I love that about them though, Kurt. Where you oh yeah, for sure, that's a compliment to their versatility. You know what, Keith? I was thinking about something to all our uh, mm-hmm. musically inclined. Uh, redeemers and patrons, can y'all give us some? Song? Well, I'm y'all listen to more of them than I have, but recommend some songs. I want y'all to debunk that because I feel a like we could, we could be wrong about them. They might have more songs where they where the vocals are layered and everything like that. But I just feel like that's the one thing I won't say holding them back. They're literally like at the top of the world right now. Right, mm-hmm. but. Can y'all link some songs where y'all feel like they're like something, something they got that some, you want your palate cleanse with yeah. that flavor? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, definitely uh, link some, drop some songs in the comments where you know they has they had you know a tight harmony in there or vocals, you know, the layered vocals and everything like that. Give us something that you think or is the best example of BTS, you know, singing in harmony or kind of you know with some layered vocals. We gonna go to that. I, you know, I love re- interacting with the patrons and the uh, redeemers. Yeah. Um, anybody else have anything to say before I lead us up? I can make it right. Da, 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 da. Like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> share. Um, Redeemers, while. love y'all to death, man. This this journey has been amazing with y'all. I'm just happy we had a point where we can have decent conversations and, and not everyone, be offended. Oh yeah, well, besides the fact not offending people and being offended, just that low Kurt, Jarek, Ty, Nas, everyone feels like they can dive into the stuff now we've heard enough now where we gotta 
a nice palette for what we like. I got a nice little playlist going. Mm-hmm. Bro, Bro, do, my, we my, a, do we have do we have an official playlist right now? Do we have an official oh, play playlist drop that the Redeemers could actually listen I to? I actually do, and I'll send it to Nick so he can link them. So link it, but let's do something. That John probably me. I don't know. I don't know if I trust like Lowe's four. playlist. Nah, but let's let's. Well, fuck you, say, Jared. Uh, all right, <laughs> Jared. We're gonna have all of us pick songs on there, and it'll be all of our playlists, and we'll and we're gonna link mine too. Yeah, we'll link. Uh, give me your joint. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna link your joint to the. Here picture. we go. I'm gonna make a K hip hop one because I really bangs with them. But y'all know the vibes. Uh, love y'all to death. Lo, you can bring us out. Yeah, man. It's still. Is this 13? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's still. But I hate and happy birthday. But I hate. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy God. birthday. Birthday, Chim Chim. Happy born day, G. Happy born day, Bias.